Okay, so I'm going to play some Splatoon today. So, uh, I'm Richard, also known as uh, Time Scanner, and my friend, uh, who happens to also be my son, Isaac, son of Time Scanner, he, um, he wants us to start making videos for video games on YouTube. Uh, because he watches a ton of them. And I thought that sounded like a good creative project for us, so we're going to do that. I'm especially excited for Super Mario Maker, which comes out tomorrow. And so this is sort of a test run to see if I can record things properly. I don't know if this is the gun I want. I think I like other guns better, but that's okay. Trying to figure out what we will do to make our videos interesting, besides just being awesome guys, uh, and making some awesome levels of Mario. When I was a kid, I used to design Mario levels in my notebook with pens, and so I'm pretty excited to actually get a chance to make new levels tomorrow. Um, Trying to figure out, like maybe, uh, maybe sometimes while we play video games, I'll have my friends in the room, and we'll just pick a subject, and we'll basically just uh, have weird conversations. And you'll we'll just be looking at uh, some Mario or some Splatooning while we're having a conversation. I guess that's kind of what my friend Ben and his friends do with, uh, with their channel. Oh, I meant that to go over there. Hmm. pretty out of practice at Splatoon. I played it a bunch the week it came out and then haven't really picked it up again since. And I kind of forget how to control it. I've never played this level before. I haven't even explored this whole level. I definitely like thinking about Splatoon as being some sort of future dystopia where mankind has gone extinct and we've been uh, replaced with our niche in the, uh, in, oh, in the ecosystem um, by squids that have come to life and crawled up on Earth. And I'm trying to imagine what kind of society they must have that it doesn't seem like anyone necessarily has jobs. They just go around um, playing this game all the time. Although, it is an urban environment, there are cities, so it's possible. Hmm. Maybe people have jobs. So then, what sort of scenario is this? Is this like a reality television? I guess it is. They have the announcers at the beginning. I guess this is like the reality television of this universe. I wonder if... Is this a voluntary thing? Like, are these squid kids... Do they choose to be on this because they want the fame, or they get paid in cool clothes? Or is this some sort of scenario where they're abducted and they're forced to play in the games? I'm sure if they made it into a movie they would do more of that so that it could uh, go along the lines of the Maze Runner and the... Uh, uh, 
Hunger Games. Alright, I'm gonna play one more level. I hope it's not that same one though. Oh good. Oh, I haven't played this one before. Camp Triggerfish. I'm sure someone on the internet's figured out how to read the squid language. I'd like to think that there are going to be some Nintendo enthusiasts that are learning how to speak it just like Klingon. Oh man, this level's cool. I like the log cabin aesthetic. Oh man, I want to go to that side of the camp. Whoa. That's cool, since they have that catwalk uh, as like netting, if you turn into a squid, you'd go right through it and fall into the water. So no squidifying right there. Hmm. Oh good, we got each other. At least I took her with me. Oh, that ended up being closer than I thought. Okay. Let's check it out. Boom. Good. All right. Thanks for watching me experiment to see if I could make one of these videos. Uh, I hope it turns out all right. And then uh, look forward to tomorrow, me posting some Super Mario Maker levels. Pretty excited about that. All right, later.